Charging your phone overnight is something most of us do without thinking. You plug it in before bed, it fills up while you sleep, and by morning, you're ready to doom scroll Twitter before even brushing your teeth. But have you ever asked, is this actually bad for my phone? Will the battery die faster? Will it overheat? Will it explode and take the cat with it? Let's unpack what really happens when you charge your phone overnight and whether or not your pillow is currently resting on a ticking lithium time bomb. Number one, your phone does reach 100%, and then it gets weird. When your phone hits 100%, it doesn't just stay there. Modern smartphones are smartish. They stop charging once full, but only temporarily. As the battery naturally drains a little bit, even just from background activity, your phone restarts charging to top it off. Overnight, this can happen dozens of times in a process called trickle charging or battery topping. It's kind of like, okay, I'm full. Wait, I'm at 99%. Better charge again. Full. Oops, 98%. Go again. It's like your phone can't stop snacking. Number two, this isn't immediately bad. But over time, it hurts. Lithium-ion batteries, the ones in your phone, are weirdly emotional. They don't like being at 0% because that's traumatic or at 100% for too long because that's stressful. Batteries age fastest when kept fully charged and warm for long periods, which is literally what overnight charging does. Even though your phone won't explode, unless you're using a knockoff charger in a volcano, this constant top-off wears down your battery's maximum capacity. Over time, you'll notice battery doesn't last as long. Drops from 100% to 80% feel suspiciously fast. You begin whispering, please just make it to lunch during work meetings. It's like leaving your muscles flexed all night. You'll survive, but you'll hate mornings even more. Number three, the heat is the real villain. Charging generates heat. Charging while under your pillow or in a thick case generates even more. And heat plus lithium battery equals a faster trip to battery retirement village. If your phone spends every night sweating in its sleep like it's going through puberty, your battery lifespan shrinks faster than your trust in airline Wi-Fi. In extreme cases, especially with cheap chargers or counterfeit cables, this can even lead to battery swelling, overheating, fire, or waking up with a new skylight in your ceiling. Sleep is good. Melting your phone into your nightstand, less good. Number four. But what about battery optimization features? Most modern phones now include smart charging features. iPhones, for example, have optimized battery charging, which learns your routine and delays charging past 80% until right before you usually wake up. Androids have similar features depending on the brand. Samsung, Pixel, OnePlus, all try to avoid keeping you at 100% for hours. So if you use these features and don't disable them because they're annoying, your phone will intentionally slow down charging overnight to reduce battery wear. It's like your phone knows you're irresponsible and is trying to parent itself. Number five, is wireless charging worse overnight? Wireless charging equals more heat. More heat equals more stress. More stress equals shorter battery lifespan, more therapy later. While wireless charging isn't dangerous, it often generates higher temperatures than wired charging, especially overnight when airflow is limited. That said, if you use a reputable wireless charger and keep the phone uncovered, it's not a deal breaker, just slightly more battery intensive. But please, for the love of all things lithium, do not stack your phone, your AirPods, and your smartwatch on the same pad under a blanket. That's how sci-fi movies start. So, should you stop charging overnight? Honestly, it depends. If you use a reputable charger, enable battery optimization, don't smother your phone in blankets and don't live in a volcano. Then charging overnight is fine. Not perfect, but fine. You're trading a little long-term battery life for daily convenience, which, let's be real, is what adulthood is all about. But if you want to be that person with a battery that still holds 95% after four years, try this instead. Plug in when you wake up. Charge at your desk or during downtime. Unplug when you hit 80 to 90%. Avoid letting your phone stay hot while charging or just buy a new phone every two years and stop pretending you're saving the planet. So overnight charging won't kill your phone, but it will age it faster. It's convenient. It's common, but it's not ideal for battery health. But unless you're using a fake $3 charger in a nest of socks, you're not in danger.
Your phone will survive. Just maybe don't expect it to love you unconditionally after you've kept it sweating in bed for eight hours every night for three years. So yeah, charge responsibly, don't panic, and maybe stop scrolling TikTok in bed until 2 a.m.